So if you are a nurse preparing for the NCLEX and EKGs make you feel nervous, overwhelmed, or you just think that these style of questions are way too difficult for you, I want to welcome you to Master NCLEX EKG style of questions. Today is day one. We're going to start from the basics. Okay, we're going to start from the basic and move up as we continue with this EKG series. So let's start with the basics, okay? As you know, the heart is very important to know about the heart for the NCLEX. As you know, anything that deals with airway, breathing, and circulation is extremely important for the NCLEX. And then, of course, the heart is part of the cardiovascular system. So let's talk about the heart. The heart is a muscular organ that pumps blood throughout the body. Basically, it supplies oxygen and nutrients to tissues and helps with the process of removing waste products, of course, collaborating, working with the kidneys. Now, the heart is a vital part, it's a vital organ of the circulatory system. And I want to talk briefly a little bit about the anatomy of the heart. Now, of course, you're not presenting an anatomy and physiology exam, but it's always good to refresh some of these concepts that you have probably forgotten. Let's talk about the heart, the location of the heart. The heart is located in the chest, slightly left of the midline between the lungs within the mediastinum. When we talk about the structure of the heart, we got to recall the chambers of the heart, the four chambers of the heart, the right atrium, which receives deoxygenated blood from the body, the right ventricle, which pumps deoxygenated blood into the lungs, the left atrium, which receives oxygenated blood from the lungs and the left ventricle, which basically pumps oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. You also have to recall the valves, the tricuspid valve, pulmonary valve, the mitral or bicuspid valve, and the aortic valve. Let's talk about that. Tricuspid valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle. The pulmonary valve is the one between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. The mitral or bicuspid valve is the one between the left atrium and the left ventricle. And the aortic valve is the one between the left ventricle and the aorta. All of these valve in chambers are important to understand the physiology of the heart. Okay, now, what is the functions, the primary functions of the heart? As I mentioned already, pumps oxygenated blood from the lungs to the body via the left ventricle and the aorta, but also pumps deoxygenated blood from the body to the lungs via the right ventricle and pulmonary artery. Okay, so basically, it maintains the blood circulation through two major circuits. The first one is the systemic circulation, and then the second one, the pulmonary circulation. So the systemic circulation delivers oxygenated blood to tissues, and the pulmonary circulation exchanges carbon dioxide for oxygen in the lungs. So this is just some basic anatomy and physiology of the heart and the cardiovascular system. Now, the purpose of today's presentation of day one of this EKG series is to talk a little bit about the heart conduction system. I'm pretty sure, you know, you recall the SA node the AV node, the bundle of his, 
the right bundle branch, the left bundle branches, and the Purkinje fibers. I know that all of you are familiar with this. You have seen it somewhere in nursing school or medical school. But let's, let's go back to the basics so we can get into deeper knowledge when it comes about the heart conduction system. The SA node or the sinoatrial node is located in the right atrium and it is known as the natural pacemaker of the heart. So we are talking about this structure here, the SA node or the sinoatrial node. It's important to recall that this is where the electrical impulse originates or initiates that causes atrial contraction. Now, how are you going to see that? On an EKG or ECG, you're going to see it as the P wave in the electrocardiogram strip. Now, let's talk about the atrioventricular node or AV node. The AV node is located between the atria and the ventricles. Basically, one of the purposes is to delay the impulse slightly to allow the atria to finish contracting before ventricles begin to contract. Now let's talk about the bundle of his, which is this structure that you're seeing here. The bundle of his is basically a pathway. It's a pathway that transmits impulses from the atrioventricular node to the ventricles. And then we have the right and left bundle branches. Basically, the right and left bundle branches conduct impulses down both sides of the interventricular septum towards the apex of the heart. And lastly, we have the Purkinje fibers, which are the smaller structures that we can see here. The Purkinje fibers spread impulses throughout the ventricles, basically causing the ventricle to contract. How do we see that? On the electrocardiogram strip, we're going to see it as the QRS complex on the AKG. <laughs> 